Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes. I am in Pro Show Producer and I'm going to show you how to create an int intro for your Disney vacation. Now what you'll need to do this is the vacation intro from Home Movie Essentials volume number four and your picture of the Disney ca castle, preferably with a blue sky behind it. First, let's set up our show for widescreen. We're going to do that by going under Show Options up here, under Show Settings, and just make sure the aspect ratio here is set for widescreen. And then we're going to go under Edit, Preferences, and make sure our default image settings is set to fill frame. All right, and I'll begin by dropping the Vacation Intro Wide AVI into slide number one. Let's double click on that to open slide options. Now though we've set our show for widescreen, ProShow doesn't always recognize all imported video as being 16 by 9. So we need to check here under layer settings right here where it has aspect as auto. We actually need to change that to 16 by 9. If you don't do that, you're going to notice that, that the video itself is going to look a little off. Okay, so after we do that, let's add our Disney Castle photo. Add a layer. Here's our photo. Okay, now we need to resize this a little bit. You can do this two ways. You can do it with your mouse scroll over here in the preview window. And if your mouse doesn't have a scroll, you can do it over here with your zoom, your zoom control bar. So let's just make that about yay big and, and move it towards the center of the preview screen. Okay, now we need to key out the sky in our in our our photo of the castle. We're going to do that under the editing tab. And the first thing you want to do is check your chroma key box here. Turn on the chroma key, and now we need to set the color. So let's go ahead and, and dra grab our eyedropper and drop it right here in our blue sky. Okay, and then. We're going to use these controls here until we get the best result we can. Um, you will have to, might have to play around a little bit with your photo to see what works the best. Okay. Okay, let, now let's create our caption. Go under Captions, Caption Settings, and type our title. Okay, and I want to move this title over right about there. And, and I'm going to adjust this spacing a little bit. A little closer. And of course, how, how you want this, your title look is completely up to you. Now let's also set this for a fade in. Up here under text effects, fly in, let's choose fade in. Okay. Now we want our castle to, uh, to appear because the, the vacation um, animation is flying through the clouds. So we just don't want our, ca our castle just to show up. We want it to slowly appear. So let's set that motion. We're going to go under effects adjustment effects and under this keyframe number one let's right click on keyframe one set time for the keyframe and let's set it for two seconds and also we're going to right here under keyframe number one the starting position let's drag our opacity down to zero okay let's right click on keyframe number two and let's set its time for four seconds and we, we need to make sure that its opacity is set to 100%. Now let's add a keyframe because now we only have this on the screen now for four seconds. We need it for the entire slide, slide time. So you can do this two ways. You can hit your plus sign up here and that makes a keyframe or you can just right click on, on the timeline bar right here and do an insert and we're going to drag keyframe number three all the way to the end of the timeline. Okay. So now we need to set the timing for our title as well. So let's go back to captions, caption motion, and let's right click on keyframe number one and let's set the time for our caption to six seconds. And that should do it. Let's see what we have.